Welcome to our Blender tutorial series. Blender is an amazing tool for 3D content creation. It is highly customizable and flexible and once you understand how to use it efficiently, you can get very productive with it. This tutorial covers the installation of Blender on Windows XP but the installation process should be similar for any of the supported operating systems. So, let us fetch the software now. You find that download link to the newest Blender version directly on the Blender main page. On the subsequent download page, you find binary distributions for Windows, Linux, Mac, and others. Let us choose the version for Windows XP with 32-bit, since this is the operating system on which we are going to install Blender. You will be asked to store the installation file to your local disk, and after your download has finished, you just need to locate the executable and execute it by double-click. The installation is really no problem at all, you simply press the return key all the time. The default settings for Blender will work in most cases. But here I will install Blender at my personal file space instead of the default location. You can use any location you want, you only need to take care that you got about 40 megabytes of space on your hard disk. After you have specified your destination directory, the installer will ask you where you want to place your user data files. You have three different options. I will select the second option. Now Blender places all user data directly into the installation directory. But caution here, you may lose parts of your personal data when you decide to upgrade or reinstall Blender. So, let's finish the installation now and start working. The Blender program icon is located right on your desktop. After starting Blender, you see the Blender default screen. Hidden behind the default screen you find the Blender console window. The console gives you important information about your installation. If you see the startup message in the console, you have no Python installed, or your installed Python version does not match the one Blender searches for. Although Blender can continue happily from here, you should proceed with the Python installation because we will need it anyways for our subsequent tutorials. So please stop Blender now, download and install the Python version mentioned on the Blender console, and then restart Blender. If you already have installed the correct Python version, Blender will display this message on StarTech. Now the full power of Python is available to Blender and can be used by add-on scripts. And you are prepared to proceed to the next tutorial. After installing Blender you can immediately jumpstart into your Blender artwork creation. But before you start, I recommend you take a look into the basic customization tutorial. There I show you how to configure your personal scripts folder for Blender add-on scripts. Enjoy Blender and see you later.